Lesson 86. Let's do Euro USD weekly analysis. And in this weekly analysis, we are doing a case study. So if you have never known what Euro USD does, maybe this is the video for you. You need to watch it until the end. And first of all, like this video. There is no way you're watching lesson 86 and you have never liked the video. You have to like the video at least to show appreciation and comment and make sure you're not watching without subscribing. So once we do the Euro USD case study, we'll be able to know, is it a buy, is it a sell? So before even we do the case study, and this is my own opinions, and you have to understand that in the market, we all, all of us, we react. And from our reaction, there's a reward. So the reward can be three. You can make money, you can, you can break at even or you can lose money. So we don't want to always lose big amount of money. We want either to break an even or to make money. So the Euro USD, according to the day, the weekly, because the weekly candle has closed and now we're in a new week, according to the candle, like if I told you when you can watch this candle, like how did this market buy all these? many pips, like 254 pips. What really made the market to buy? Would we have would, would we have seen uh, it in advance? Like, would have we were we able to see this buy before it happens? And you see, now the market has bought with all these pips. And we can't tell. Will it continue to the next resistance? Because if you can see on the weekly time frame, there is no obstacle. And you have to understand, if you go to the daily uh, daily time frame, there are so many obstacles, so many obstacles. Um, you can see how the market went down. Like sellers were not, uh, they had no strength. The market was just selling. So if you don't do a case study, it will be a place of, Will it, will it not? So I want us to do a case study for us, starting from the monthly time frame. So before even we go to the monthly time frame, I know most of the most of you here have seen this double bottom. And for a reason, you're thinking, oh, this double bottom, we got an entry around here because the market gave us a bearish angle. And according to this double bottom, the market broke our half. You have to understand one thing. Have you confirmed if this double bottom is on a higher time frame, like monthly? And you see, some things when you make a decision, when you make a judgment, if you're a USD now, you're saying, oh, we're on a buy because the market has broken our double bottom. The question is, is this double bottom on the monthly? Why? Because if it's on the monthly, the instructions to do what according what the instruction on the buy will not come from the weekly. So this is something I have seen many people doing, even when they were posting uh, uh, setups, they were saying, the reason why I think Euro USD will buy, it's because it has broken half and the weekly, on the weekly, there's a double bottom. And that's why I keep telling people, the minute you have a double bottom, the next question you need to ask yourself, is it on the monthly? Guys, I want you to pay close attention. Is that double bottom on the monthly? Is it on the monthly? Yes, it's on the monthly. So the only thing that is making us not to be involved in this trade, the only thing that cannot make us to have confidence that, oh, that double top will, double bottom will work. The double bottom is on the monthly very clearly. So the question is, who's supposed to give us a confirmation, weekly or monthly? It's monthly, why? Because if weekly has broken like this, the half has broken, and then this week you get a very red candle, you get a red candle, a very big red candle, what do you think will happen to your trade? What do you think the monthly candle will close? Do you think this monthly candle will close like the, the way it is green? Why? Because the candle will reduce and it will be like a shooting star. All this body will reduce down and the candle will look like this on the monthly. So yes, it will be a green candle, but it will have a very huge week. So don't jump into conclusion and say, so that's what will happen. If we get a red candle on the weekly, on the monthly, the candle will close like this. So yes, it's a green candle, but it will not have broken. And we don't want a place where we say, I wish I waited. So this trade, according to the pattern that is on, the, according to the pattern that we are looking at, Euro USD it's not yet um it's not yet confirmed. Yes, weekly they can say we buy, 
but yet not confirmed. If you're my student, you already know that I use BWA a lot. So even with my students, uh, we are waiting on BWA because there's the way BWA works. So those uh, using BWA and using the pattern on the monthly, it is telling you clear that this market don't joke on the buy. Don't joke on this buy. Because the minute you buy, the market has a potential of selling. So the question is, what can make this market go down? What can they make this market to go down? One, a pattern. And that pattern, clearly, it's not on the weekly. So if I go to the daily time frame, a pattern is the only thing that can make me uh, start selling this market. And guess what, guys? We have a possible double top. For the first time, Euro USD has a pattern that is only on one time frame. What do you think that is? It's very powerful. So for me, what I have said, even before we continue, for me to buy, you need to understand Esther more free. So he, uh, for her to buy, you see, for you, you can buy right now, I, I no problem. For me to place a buy entry, monthly has to close. Monthly has to close. The double bottom on the monthly has to do what? Double bottom has to do what? Double bottom confirmed by breaking what? Half. So for me to even place a buy on EURUSD, like I'm really limiting myself. And I've kept saying I'm not getting involved on this buy since the market was here. Even when it was going up, I was saying, no, my buy is coming from monthly. My buy confirmation is coming from the monthly. And we got this huge huge candle and i was like oh my goodness and that is the that is the sometimes uh when you use one strategy and when you are displayed sometimes money will just uh you will fight you will think that you're losing money in the market but you're not losing money in the market you're just being a disciplined trader so for me buying monthly has to do what to confirm the monthly candle, like I can't wait, guys, to analyze Euro USD this coming month. I cannot wait. Why? Because I know the market has a potential of buying how many pips? 346 pips to the neckline. So I will use all the energy I have if that buy breaks half. If this candle breaks our half, I will have all the energy to buy. I will use all the the results, the knowledge I have learned for me to place a buy. But because it has not bought, why would I struggle buying this market? Why would I struggle? Because weekly, I have a funny breaking. And weekly, someone who does not value double bottom on monthly, they are seeing all half has been broken or resistance has been broken. Why would I sabotage my entry on the monthly by entering on lower time frame? But now, as I'm waiting to buy long term, I cannot assume the fact that the market can sell. So buying, you see, Euro USD, according to my case study, I will buy if the monthly candle closes, the daily double bottom uh, confirms with breaking half. And me selling now, we are talking of selling. For me to sell, I need OPT on daily. So OPT in this case is a double, double top on daily that will give me WBB. So I need um, uh, confirmed, confirms WBB. So I need, I need to be very, very careful with my decisions, guys, because there are times we make decisions and we know these decisions are not going far. They're not going far. Why? Because according to this strategy, this, this market was easy, by the way. We had a double top here. Uh, we had this double top. Can you see this double top? For me, I knew I cannot say I cannot buy because I'm buying according to monthly time frame. So I've been waiting for sell opportunity, and the market was to sell up to here. And then the market came and ranged, and that's how I exited my trade. Because according to lower time frame, the point that I wanted the market to sell, it gave me a pattern. That is that for buying, it gave me this double bottom. So I had to close my sell position and wait for another chance to enter and sell. So sometimes 
don't be like you in a rush you are buying you are selling you are you are like you are you're not even in a rest and that's what makes you lose why you're not in rest so this double talk you enter a sell position because it was like um, um the sell position we entered using in fact the market never gave us a sell confirmation we were just entering because we wanted because if you look carefully we got a red candle this we cannot call it like an evening star because two two candles are doji then we got a green candle didn't engulf the red then we got a red didn't engulf the green then immediately so there was no even wbb confirmation and the market has gone up so the question is the market created this cup and handle if monthly confirms the buy, they will be completing this cup and handle. For me, that's what I want to believe. So if monthly they happen to confirm a buy or entry, maybe this is the pattern that will be completing. So you can see they have already gone to our half. So if I wanted to buy, I would have, buy, I would have bought with this cap and handle on daily and my take profit will here. So the market would have broke. Maybe I enter when it has retraced up to the half and that's almost 25, but I didn't want, they, I didn't want to get involved. Now let's do analysis fresh. I've told you my concerns. I cannot sell if WBB has not what has not confirmed. So this is my buy opportunity my sell opportunity using the double possible double top. So to sell, there is no restriction, but to buy monthly has to be in play. So for me, what I will do, according to the case study and how I'm seeing Euro USD, how I'm viewing it, for me, I will react. I will not shy away from reacting. I will not shy away from reacting. I will just react. And the reason why we are reacting, guys, you can see the reason why we are reacting is that you don't want to judge with, you know, there is a way you think things are moving, but they are not. You have to know the market has created a double bottom, a double top, like, like have a very tangible evidence. So this is possible double top that has RBS. If that candle closes, I just need a bearish angle like this on Tuesday, like this, a red candle, and I'm good. Like that. And then I sell, I sell up to neck half. That's what my, my intentions are. And funny thing, I cannot enter this trade. First of all, let's understand it is not on the, the double top is not on the weekly. And that's what is making the double top very strong because the double top apparently is not on the weekly. Why would you not spend hours and hours and hours analyzing this Euro USD? Why would you not want your first trade to be Euro USD? Because my work is to analyze and your work is to follow and action, you take action. And you see, the market can still come to this area. They can still buy, break, and they can come to that area. Why? Because all these zones are not on the weekly and they can still come to this area. So don't be blinded with one spot. As long as WBB is not confirmed, we won't get in. So the market can come to those three areas. And that's what I want to. For me, I am not thinking of buying. Like me buying EURUSD, it's like a <laughs> uh, suicide mission. So for me, I'm thinking of buy. And if here WBB, for instance, the market continues, break, break, continues, continues. What do you think will happen? So if I come to weekly, if I come to weekly, guess what? The market can even buy up to this zone without us, can buy without us. 
just trying to activate. The question is, how will this market play out? Just use WBB. So because the market has already activated the double top, this is not a four hour trade. It's a daily trade. So I want you to open your phone, go to alarm. And because if you're in Kenya, the daily candle is closing, um, the daily candle closes at 1 a.m. So I want you to go to your alarms and at 1 a.m. you write the name of that uh that candle. You will you will write daily candle close, check euro USD. Have you have you heard what I've said? You will go and put an alarm on the daily, and then you will write it daily candle close then the action you want you are telling your alarm to to remind you check your usd what are you coming to check we are coming to check for what for a wbb this is the alarm i want everyone to put it so daily candle close check your usd and if you're in kenya you will put 1 a.m if you're in another country just know when your candle close closes when does your daily candle close closes so for me i have no business in fact what i'll do so that i don't forget euro usd you know we do so good we do analysis like this sometimes we do analysis very good and then we forget we we reach a place and forget and that thing really disturbs me why that is money gone like that because imagine here we get a um, evening star in the market sell and hit our half. That is money gone. That is money gone like that, 225 pips. So what I need you to understand is that by the time we are, we are hoping that this market will do exactly what we want, we are not interested with a buy. I don't want you to be tagged by a buy. No matter how setup looks good, stay away from the buy. Why? For us to buy, we have to use higher time frame, which is monthly. So for us to, to come to a place we have to buy, we have to use higher time frame. So this is Euro, USD, daily OPT. When I say daily OPT, it means daily one pattern on one time frame, which is a double top and you can see it. So I need you to be... I need you to, to add this on your watch list like that. So for me, what I'll do, I screenshot it and then I remove it. I print it out. I will print it out. And once I print it out, I will be able to like have a case study, a very good case study. So this is the first time I identified when I get WBB, I'll still print it out. And then it's like I'm creating a case study. Also, what I'll do, I will, I will create a new watch list, create a new list, and I will call it daily OPT. So daily OPT can be double tops, double bottoms. It can be in any pattern, either double top or double bottom. When I say daily OPT, I'm waiting on the daily OPT to the time frame to give me an entry. And our first daily OPT is Euro USD. This way, I will open my daily OPT and check. I won't, when I'm checking here, I won't be blinded. So the other daily OPT, and I've done that video, is GBP USD. I've done that video right now is GBP USD. And GBP USD, what you have said, we have that daily OPT. So let me show you for the GBP USD. I know this video was not GBP USD, but I want to show you it's a matter of double, it's a matter of getting an entry using the daily double top because that double top is not on the weekly. So you just like that just do every analysis like that and then once you do your analysis this is your dub possible double top so on your daily opt uh on your daily opt watch list i have given you two pairs gbp usd and euro usd so i have given you two pairs to check 
and then we have our half. So what is remaining here, guys? The only thing that we are remaining with is to get WBB. So we need the market to give us WBB. Why? Because the market came, gave us a red candle. We put a box. Remember how WBB works? We put a box. The market didn't break and then it got a green and you're supposed to remove the box. So we are doing again. So as you're waiting on Tuesday for EURUSD, we might be getting a bearish angle and breaking that area. So these are possible double top. We already have RBS. So it's not a question. This double top, if it agrees, if the market can sell. So we have RBS. So in short, what I have, it's GBP USD, GBP USD daily, daily OPT. So I have GBP USD daily OPT. So that's what I have. You see? You see now. So if I flip on Euro USD, there's what I'm waiting upon. You see, if I flip on GBP USD, there's what I'm waiting on. This is how to be ready. I always tell people, be ready. It's better to be prepared and lack opportunity rather than you have the opportunity and you're not prepared. So, so far I've given you two trades that are daily OPT and I want you to have a watch list that you call daily OPT. If you are Pattern, one pattern on one time frame, it's on four hour. We will still have another watch list that we call it for our OPT. And then we'll have weekly OPT and then we'll have monthly OPT. So you'll find that Euro USD will still fall on monthly OPT because you are waiting for the monthly to buy. But for the daily OPT, we are waiting for it for sale. I hope you understand that. So the, the, the Euro USD, there's nothing much you can do. Now, once you are clear like this, there's nothing much else you can do apart from waiting and getting your entry. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope that case study is enough for you to push you to this week. If this market sells and we get a sell, we'll still come back and see where we got it right. If it, did, it does not sell, it buys. It means we don't have an opportunity to buy because our buy is coming from Monday. Thank you so much for watching. All the best. Love you.